Hi everyone, let's go ahead and get started with one by one convolution. It is also known as point wise convolution. This one by one convolution filter is a type of filter which is used in convolutional neural network for image processing and computer vision application. It is a little different than the traditional convolutions like we use a 3 by 3 or 5 by 5 convolution filters. Like you see in this one by one convolution, this gets applied over one by one pixels only. So with this, if you see, it may not seem a complicated or you may seem that it, it's not capturing any information, not much information. Because anyway, it is getting applied on a single cell only, on single pixels only. So what's the purpose of doing this? one by one convolutional neural network, uh, one by one convolutional filters. So it is actually used to perform a linear combinations between these channels to get the inter-channel information. So like you have a large, a large number of channels in your image, then you can apply a one by one convolution there to get the information between these inter-channels. So with this, you will be getting information of something like this. So this one by one convolution are very powerful. It reduces the complexity, you know, the computational complexity for the filters like three by three or five by five filters are quite high. But if you compare the complex complexity of this one by one convolution, the compared to these, it is very small. And uh, this one by one convolution gets even more information uh, if we talk about these interchannel information. Sometimes, I mean, uh, the, the, the gain which you get by reducing its complexity in terms of, uh, you know, the space complexity and the time complexity. If I say a space complexity, that means it takes less, less space to save the model because anyway, the number of parameters taken by one by one convolution is very less as compared to the traditional convolution and the time complexity is also less that means the training time and inference time is also very less generally these one by one convolution filters are known as a bottleneck you know or a bottlenecking So this is one by one. It is also known as here a point wise uh, convolutions as well. Or you can say here uh, it is also known as here a channel wise convolution. So these are various name by which these one by one convolution is known. Let's go ahead and try to evaluate what's the advantage of doing this one by one convolution. All right, suppose that you have this particular volume on which you want to perform convolution. And let's say you want to do first the traditional or a standard convolution. So I'm just going to write here a uh, standard convolution you are going to do. So in standard convolution, suppose that you have a same input which we are seeing there, something like this. In this you have here a 64 cross 64 and the depth of the channel which you have here 192 there and if you apply here a traditional convolution filters a 3 by 3 traditional convolution filters and the total filters are applied here which we are just going to evaluate those are 32 so this 3 by 3 which you see you can assume that it is applied something like this so where you have this three and three and the depth which you are seeing here, this particular depth will match this 192. That will get matched automatically if you apply there a standard convolution. So with this, you get a volume as output and the volume of output will be something like this where we are putting a 64 cross 64 height and width of output and the number of channels here we are getting 32 on a given condition that the padding which we are using here that I say it as same padding 
So let's calculate the total number of parameters required to do this convolution. So how much or how many parameters you need, need to have here. So in case of the parameter you know this filter which we have here 3 by 3 filter. So the total in a 3 by 3 filter if you see you will be making something like this. So you count this so there will be total 9 parameters in case of 3 by 3 that is just for a single channel. The depth of this is total 192. That means it will be something uh, uh, and 192 is like these, right? So you are putting here 1 by 1, uh, sorry, a 3 by 3 filter on this and the depth will be there 192. So if you calculate the total number of the points inside this volume, that you can say that a 3 cross 3 cross 192. Alright, so if you fit this here in this, that 3 by 3 and here 192, so this would be particularly. And if you add there a bash term, that will be plus 1. But this is very less and inefficient, so I'm just going to, you know, remove that, so that we can uh, reduce our computation complexity. I mean here, uh, uh, you know, the math here, what I'm describing. After that, you see this. 3 by 3, 192, which you see that this is the total parameter required for this one. Alright, so there you have total 32 channels. So, what you do here, you multiply it with total 32 numbers. So, the total output which you get here, if you count here, total 3 by 3 multiplied by 192, multiplied by here a 32. So, the total parameters you get here, 55,000. 296 or roughly you can say that it is uh, roughly you can say that it is a uh, 55k so these many parameters you will have to have if you do this standard convolution but you can reduce this total number of parameters if you apply one by one convolution so that's what we are going to see here, how you can reduce this total number of parameters by doing one by one convolution. Well, so I'm just going to make here a new, uh, a new volume, just I can uh, describe you. Well, so I'm just going to make here the same volume which you are seeing here, that is, I'm just replacing here just for simplicity, a calculation simplicity. You have here a 64 cross 64 the height and width of your image or input or whatever you have there and then you have here 192 channels there. So this 192 channels for that you first apply here one by one convolutions there right one by one convolution and obviously the depth of this one by one convolution will be 192 there. Then you apply this on on this input all right so on this input you apply the total depth will be here that will be going inside that's total 192 here so what happened here after applying these convolutions you will be getting output something like something like this all right so that i'm gonna something like this that's just a single channel but if you apply here the total number of filters, what we are seeing here, I apply here a 16 number of filters. That's when we are going to add here a 16 layer, something like this, you see. So if you add 16 layers like that, you will be getting an output of something like this. A volume you will be getting with the height and width of uh, output will be 64 cross 64 and here the depth will be 16. So do you see here a difference? Earlier we applied a 32 straight forward, but now we are applying here 16 only. Do remember this 16 is just a random number which I selected. You can apply here 64 as well. So as lower number you apply here, the more compression you are achieving here. So basically what is happening here, this 192 channel got converted into 16 channel. Now on this 16 channel, you can apply this 3 by 3 convolutions there because this convolution is very costly and this 1 by 1 convolution is less costly. This is a lot cheaper than 3 by 3 convolution. Thereafter, you apply here 
another convolution because anyway the shape we need to have this particular shape because whatever uh, uh, our standard convolution is producing the output the same type of the output should be from one by one convolution then you apply here on this on this again another convolution a three by three convolution all right so on this i'm applying here a three by three convolution but this time the depth of convolution is 16 because the number of channels which you see here those are just 16 channels and the total number of filters here we are applying a 64 filters now if you if, if you see the output produced by this particular uh, convolution you will be getting output something like this so if you compare this with 64 cross 64 and the this this channel uh, i'm sorry actually i'm sorry this is not a 64 this is actually the 32 channels there because the 32 channels we have here all right so this number of channels should be here a 32 so the depth here becomes total 32 so now you can see the output what we get here and here you know the volume of these two are equal here these are equal so we have got the equal output by pro by doing these one by one convolution thereafter standard convolution and here as a standalone uh, convolution so where are we gaining we have got the same type of the output at the end you may ask that what is the gain here the gain is here actually earlier we were applying this three by three channel convolution a uh, three by three you know the convolutions over 192 channel but now we are applying this 3 by 3 convolution over just 16 channel because this 3 by 3 convolution is quite costly you see this number is quite large but now we will be getting this number as 3 by 3 multiplied by 16 only so if you calculate here the you know the total number of parameters you can simply do that the total parameters you get here that 1 cross 1 cross 1 92 which is here the depth and cross the total number of filters we used here that is 16 so the output you get here from here that output is 3072 all right so it becomes 3072 thereafter you apply here another filter so parameters given by this filter is 3 cross 3 cross 16 so this 16 is the depth of filter and the total number of filters are here 32 so the total number of parameters you are getting from here that is the 4608 parameters now if you combine the total parameters which we got from one by one convolution that was 3072 and then we are adding that 4608 parameters the total number of parameters here we get 7680 parameters so this parameter we are getting from one by one convolution and this parameter we were getting from the standard convolution now the gain if you see here you know or you can say that the reduction percentage all right so the reduction percentage is here 7680 divided by 55,296 and you check it with the percentage you get it here a 0 0.1 0 0.1388 or you convert it in percentage that will be approximately the 14 percent all right so so you see here the advantage what happens here what we can achieve this by by doing 55,000 parameters that we can achieve by just 14 percent of the parameters that is just uh, you know uh, 7600 parameters or 7700 parameters so this is advantage of doing one by one convolution over a standard convolution so what this particular part is doing here this particular part is doing here a compression all right or you can say that it is doing here a squeeze Alright, so basically the information compression is happening when you have a large number of channels as the input then it is advisable to use one by one convolution 
to reduce the number of channels for the larger filter. So these one by one convolutions are mainly used in inception networks and this also used in efficient net later on it all I mean before that it was also used in mobile net and nowadays in any advanced CNN algorithms generally these one by one convolutions are used to reduce the number of parameters here. Alright. So this is all about in this lesson. I'll see you in next one.